ko tiki koe, tiki atu i te tahatū o te rā. Haere mai, haere mai, haere mai rungi te karanga o te kuwhare wānanga o Pāmaki Makaurau. Ke haere mai koutou, ki te pakai hirehira tēnei rā, mō o tauira ko pautaitea hi tēnei rā. Ko horahi a te whāriki, ki te ihi, ki te wehi, ki te mana, i runga i te marae o te rā. Nō reira, piki mai, kake mai, haere mai rā. Please be seated. Enga mana, enga reo, enga hoe fa. Tena koto, tena koto, tena koto kato. Pro Chancellor, special guests, graduands, family, whanau, and supporters. As Chancellor of the University of Auckland, I extend a warm welcome to you all on behalf of the University Council members and staff of the University. This is a meeting of the Council of the University of Auckland at which the Pro-Chancellor and I will award diplomas and confer degrees in the Faculty of Arts and the Faculty of Education and Social Work. Graduation is a time for celebrating success. Today you will experience the pomp and tradition of this ancient ceremony and the recognition befitting your success on your well-deserved day of celebration. Like your family and friends gathered here, we are very proud of your achievements and look forward to your lifelong involvement as members of the University of Auckland family. Of course, graduation represents much more than just a day of celebration. Your qualification from this university will have a lifelong impact on you, your family, and the community at large. We know that compared to those whose formal education ends at high school, graduates have lower unemployment rates, higher salaries, better career prospects, and better health outcomes. Universities New Zealand has estimated the lifetime benefits of earning a degree are valued at between one and four million dollars. Your university experience and the qualifications gained at university will thus add real value to your lives and the lives of those around you. The fact that our university can add value in these ways reflects the abilities and achievements of our staff and students. In the Faculty of Arts, Associate Professor Tracy McIntosh won a National Tertiary Teaching Excellence Award making this the 12th time the University of Auckland staff have won such an award since the scheme was established 13 years ago. Professor Rosalind Hursthouse, Annie Goldson and Chris Shaw were elected as Fellows of the Royal Society of New Zealand, recognising their academic excellence and leadership. Dr. Paula Morris launched the Academy of New Zealand Literature, an ambitious initiative intended to promote, support and sustain a community of New Zealand's best writers. Academy members include, include Patricia Grace, Eleanor Catton and Witi Ihimira. Distinguished Professor Brian Boyd was one of four international curators of a world-class art exhibition on origins of art at the Museum of Old and New Art in Hobart. And Dr. Selena Tusitala Marsh performed one of her poems at the Commonwealth Day Observance at Westminster Abbey in front of Queen Elizabeth and distinguished guests. In the Faculty of Education and Social Work, Associate Professor Martin East won a National Ter Tertiary Teaching Excellence Award, making this again the 12th time the university has won such an award in 13 years. 
Distinguished Professor Vivian Robinson was awarded the Mason Jury Medal for her contribution to educational research, which identified the differential impact of types of school leadership practice on the achievement of learners. Professor Stuart McNaughton was awarded the Dame Joan Medge Medal for his contributions to the building of research capacity in educational sciences, advancing literacy and language development, and for his evidence-based impact on educational policy, both, both nationally and internationally. And Professor Stephen May was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society of New Zealand, recognising his academic excellence and leadership. In order to ensure that we can continue to achieve successes like these and to enhance our contribution to future generations of graduates and to our nation, the university must do three things. First, we need to attract students of high academic potential and give them an outstanding academic and extracurricular experience. In this respect, we are doing very well. The proportion of students entering the university with a high grade point average is growing each year, and we produce outstanding students, just like you. Second, we need to attract, develop, and retain outstanding staff. This we are doing as illustrated by achievements I described earlier. Many of our staff are world leaders in their fields and you will have been privileged to learn from and work with them. It is no coincidence that in the QS world rankings of university subjects, the University of Auckland came top in New Zealand in 37 of the 44 subjects ranked. And I note that we don't even teach four of them. Nor is it a coincidence that we were ranked top in Australasia for innovation by a recent Reuters survey of Asia-Pacific universities. And third, we need to create the kind of academic environment and facilities that support and encourage excellence. To this end, the university has been investing heavily in its campus renewal program so as to ensure that we do provide facilities of genuinely international quality. Many of you will graduate today with a first qualification, and you will be rightly proud of this achievement. However, I want you to reflect on the ongoing learning opportunities and the wide range of postgraduate options available to you at this university. You must never rest on your laurels in a challenging and ever-changing world, but rather be prepared to embrace change and new technology and make the most of the opportunities presented to you. Although it may seem a daunting prospect right now, further study and learning is inevitable for all of us as the world changes around us at an ever accelerating pace. Whatever path you follow, I urge you as alumni of New Zealand's leading university to never forget your alma mater, your university. We rely on our graduates for support, moral, political, and financial. But today is your day, with the focus firmly on your achievement. At this ceremony, we honor your success along with the support of your family, whanau, and others who have sustained you through your studies. I congratulate you and trust that you will long cherish the memories of your graduation today. It is my pleasure to welcome our guest speaker this afternoon, Miles Gregory. As the artistic director and founder of the multi-award winning Pop-Up Globe, Miles has been instrumental in bringing Shakespeare to the people of this city in a way never before experienced. The Pop-Up Globe is a full-scale, temporary working replica of the Second Globe Theatre in London, which produces spectacular, classical performance. Last year's inaugural season in Auckland, marking the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death, attracted more than 100,000 people in a season that was extended by popular demand almost as soon as it began. The audiences, including many students and staff from this university, 
welcomed the first opportunity since 1642 to experience the dimensions of the famed theatre firsthand. The remarkable success of the pop-up globe reflects not just Miles' enduring devotion to Shakespeare, but also his passion for creating and sustaining healthy arts organisations. Through his Auckland-based think tank and cultural consultancy, Henslow Irving, he is exploring best and new practices in artistic management, including strategy, governance, audience development, marketing and programming. Previously, he was chief executive as artistic director for the Maltings Theatre and Cinema, a major regional theatre and arts charity in the UK. His other roles have included being regional producer for Shakespeare's Globe Theatre in London, artistic director and founder of the Bristol Shakespeare Festival, and artistic director and founder of the British Touring Shakespeare Company. He has a Doctor of Philosophy from Bristol University, specialising in Shakespeare in performance, postmodernist aesthetics, and paradigm change theory. Miles, it's a very impressive resume, and uh, we very much look forward to what you have to tell us this afternoon. Chancellor, Acting Vice-Chancellor, members of council, members of the university, graduands, families and friends. It is an honour to address you today and I offer today's graduands my warmest congratulations. Today you end one unforgettable journey and commence another. As they say in theatre, this is not a dress rehearsal although we certainly have some splendid costumes on, uh, yes. My own uh, undergraduate graduation took place at the University of Durham in the north of England uh, in a very cold and large hall. And during the ceremony, the, the man on my right, uh, 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 an acquaintance of mine, he had uh, he'd been out the night before for his stag party and he was getting married the very next day from one institution to another. And during the, uh, the Chancellor's speech, Sir Peter Ustinov, he was suddenly and violently sick. <laughs> and regrettably, it was, uh, the contamination spread a long way. <laughs> and we were at the rear of the very large hall, and Sir Peter Ustinov thought that someone was heckling him uh, and made some choice remarks about undergraduates today. So I hope you won't heckle me in any way today. As artists, and I know that uh, uh, there is a wide range of graduands here today, but as artists and as creatives, as university graduates, you have the opportunity to change the world. And I think it's natural today to consider your hopes and your dreams and your vision for your lives, and also to make time for reflection and, of course, celebration. I recently caught up with an old friend who describes himself as an actor and has, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and has worked as a chef now for nearly 20 years. Uh, we talked about mutual acquaintances for a while, and then, as it always does, our talk turned to the feature film he is desperate to make, a film that he has been talking about for nearly 20 years. And after hearing about his new ideas for the film, how brilliant it will be, how it will change the way we think about film, I asked him what steps he was actively taking to bring the film to production. Well, I know exactly how to do it, he said, but I'm just too busy at work at the moment. Now, I've spent most of my adult life, in fact, uh, as I left university, uh, uh, producing and directing theatre productions of the works of Shakespeare. I think of myself as an artist who understands the business of theatre. My current role is as artistic director of Pop-Up Globe. And my team and I are very proud of our theatre, the fact that we've recorded 185,000 attendances there since we opened last year, 
and also of the 35,000 school students and their teachers from all over New Zealand who've attended productions there. Like all theatre projects, indeed like most things in life, this one started with an idea. I talked about my idea honestly with my friends for six months and then took some action. The language of making theatre is frequently linked to the idea of action. I work with actors, people who act for a living. And to act is to, to do just that, to take action, to do something. And the string of events that happen in any play are often referred to as the action of the play, divided, of course, into acts. And a play cannot be made without actors and action and an audience. And Shakespeare shows himself in his writing to be deeply interested in acting, in acts and action, and also in what happens when we know what we should do, but do nothing. His most famous character, Hamlet, is a student who finds that he prefers to talk about his problems rather than to take action to solve them. He knows precisely what he should do, like my friend, the actor chef. But he finds it very hard to act. In fact, he'd rather just talk about it. And of course, he's not the only one. If to do were as easy as to know what were good to do, then chapels had been churches and poor men's cottages, princes' palaces. So says Portia to her friend and servant Nerissa in The Merchant of Venice. If to do were as easy as to know what were good to do, chapels had been churches and poor men's cottages, princes' palaces. It's easy for us to know what's good to do. Like Hamlet, I believe we all know inherently what's right and what's wrong. And more importantly, we're all born with the power to dream, to create gorgeous visions of how the future should unfold, to know what we're good for us to do for ourselves, as well as what we're good for us to do in the world. But achieving what we've set out to do, the doing of the dream, the action that we must take to make the dream reality, well, this is much more difficult. And this is Porsche's point. If the act of doing were as easy as knowing what we should do, the world would be a very different place. And we might be very different too. But there's another meaning in this line, that the act of doing may not always achieve the expected result, but it always achieves something. Nothing will come of nothing. When we act, when we do, rather than just talk about it, we will always achieve a result. And with persistence, particularly following failure, results improve. We want to build a grand church, uh, but instead we build a beautiful chapel. We set out to build a palace, and we manage to build a cozy cottage. But we still end up with a cottage, or a chapel, rather than just a bare piece of land. Now, how different is this from the person who takes no action, does nothing, and achieves nothing? If to do were as easy as to know what were good to do, chapels had been churches, and poor men's cottages, princes, palaces. Now, as artists, as graduates, it's our job to make work, to make art, or indeed to make whatever your professional career throws at you. But it's not enough just to think about it or talk about it. We must act. Very often as artists, we're invited to theorize about our practice, whether this involves writing an introduction to a piece of theater we've directed or the text that hangs alongside a piece of art. To be eloquent is important. To be able to speak fluently and persuasively about our plans and work is very important. And I believe that truth comes from honest conversation between friends, from big dreams, 
and as artists, we should seek out opportunities to discuss our work. But it is action that defines us. As long as we do what we're good to do, what we know to be right for ourselves and the world, we mustn't spend too long sitting around talking. Whether it's writing a novel or building a pop-up globe, it's our actions that will be truly eloquent. Action is eloquence. It's action that defines us and makes art. Action is eloquence. More Shakespeare from Coriolanus. If we get it right, our action, our work will speak for itself. If we get it right, it will speak so clearly and with such eloquence that our art or our action will transform the lives of others and help our society to understand itself in ways that we can't even begin to imagine. I congratulate you all on your graduation. In my life, there have been six very important events. Uh, I have three degrees. Each of those graduations meant a huge amount to me. And I have three children. And of course, there's one other event that's the most important, which was the day I got married to my wife. I look forward with excitement to seeing you take action as citizens, as artists, and I look forward to hearing your work speak loudly and eloquently. Thank you. Thank you, Miles, for a most interesting and insightful speech. This is a meeting of council and convocation of the university at which the Cha pro-chancellor, Jan Dawson and I, will be awarding diplomas and conferring degrees. I invite the pro-chancellor to award the diplomas and confer the degrees in the first half of this ceremony. By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Jan Dawson, Pro-Chancellor, award the diplomas and confer the degrees stated upon those who, within the Faculty of Arts and the Faculty of Education and Social Work, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Professor Robert Greenberg, to present graduands in that faculty. Pro-Chancellor, as Dean, I have the honor of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the Faculty of Arts. Diploma in Languages. Senior, Sco Senior Scholar in Arts, Christine Ellen Bell. to the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Jashin Naidu. <laughs> Ruveshin Naidu. <laughs> Rafiti Sally Nati. <laughs> Tawasu Nauma Ma Moafu. 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 Susanna Alice Neighbor. Imogen Julia Clark Nielsen. Eudocia Singer Ning. <laughs> Phil
Stinley Francis Nixon Snowden. Mona Nurozi. Jessica Ailish O'Connor. Sang Ho Oh. Eamon Michael O'Keefe. Mario Ola. Chloe Jean Osborne. Elizabeth Grace Osborne. Mackenzie Sean O'Sullivan. Holly Leslie Rato Oswald. Anya Rennie Beatrice Ott. Liceli Kalina Paea. Madison Hazel Palmer. Ihua Pan. Charlotte Elizabeth Parker. Rohan Manoj Patel. Rachel Katrine Pat um, Peyton Simpson. Luke Harvey Allen Patton. Melanie Jean Pollen. Marietta Sina Pelua. Faith Apaulo Patero. Rihanna Kate Phillips. <laughs> Rangitiaria Gini Pihama. <laughs> Nicole Tena Caroline Pihingia. Ella Catherine McCallum Pilkington. <laughs> Anastasia Avales Suatia uh, Polamalu. <laughs> Samantha Priestley. Cass, I'm sorry, Casey Olivia Don Radley. <laughs> Cynthia Raj. <laughs> Rachel Catherine Rands. <laughs> Elise Rose Rekshafen. Divyani Dipika Reddy. Reddy. <laughs> Katie May Bradshaw Reed. <laughs> Samuel David Richardson. <laughs> Luke
Luke Christopher Ryan. Tessa Christine Robbins. Isaac Rodriguez. Georgia May Russo. Brittany Jane Ryan. David Tinai William Ryan. Louise Ashley Ryan. Alexis Jane Sadgrove. Madison Rose Salter. Christabel Sujata Sami. Ishan Sarma. Hani Ulya Satari. Gan Sachipanan. Nicole Rose Saunderson. <laughs> Kea, uh, sorry, Freya Katya Shamko. <laughs> Sophie Val Christie Sherger. <laughs> Jennifer May Scott. Jonathan, jo Bastion, Jonathan, Neil, Scott's Bala. Kate Ellen Seddon. Rania May Siegerberg Bell. Benjamin Shand Crinell. So now, Jasmine Queenie Sharma, Alicia Louise Reed Sharp, Stephen Connor Sheldon. Dana Louise Scheel. <laughs> He Sung Shin. <laughs> Bala Murali Shingade. <laughs> Rachel Jane Simpson. Diana Sissel. <laughs> Laura Joanne Slater. <laughs> Amy Louise Smith. <laughs> Alexandra Jane Smith. Kendall Ariana Selena Smith. <laughs> Laura Bell Smith. Mia Spasic. Yeah. 
Natalie Rose Spence. William Gordon Spence. Tanusha Shritaran. Laura Michelle Stavely. Jim John Toho Stratton. Senior Scholar in Arts, Jessica Michael Edi Hapeti Stubbing. <laughs> Kiefer Reese Subrian. <laughs> Lu Rihanna Louisa Sullivan. <laughs> Herina Sului. Holly Victoria Sutton Williams. Agnes Lina Vineta Taala Mili. Tavili Junior Tavili. <laughs> Linda Lafaele Tangiloa. <laughs> Ashley Louise Evelyn Tate. <laughs> Nicholas Death to Pua Ta Talaepa. <laughs> Daniel Mark Talbot. Fetelainga Tapeli. <laughs> Rachel Fatai, Moemano, Ntu Oni Lolo, Vanuatu. <laughs> Alice Victoria Tate. Pro-Chancellor, I now call upon the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, Faculty of Arts, Professor Bernadette Luciano, to present further graduates from that faculty. to the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Te Fainoa Te Wiata. Dana Ellen Tettenberg. <laughs> Irina Konstantinovna Tate. <laughs> Ma
Maxwell Anthony Frazier Tom. Amy Christine Jane Thomas. Ina Angela Castro Tonsung. Timothy Roderick Tolley. Liam, Liam Stephen Trainer Manuel. Jessica Catherine Triscott. <laughs> Milani Janak Trivedi. <laughs> Yachuan Tsai. <laughs> Jessica Cesa Tulia. Barnabas proclaim Vahe Kihi Talaki Ongo Ongulele Tupo. Grace Dallas Mokahele Turner. Willie Elijah Tunga Stevenson. Daibaita Tu Uta. Patafehi Lilikai Moana Angelica Alexin Wata. <laughs> Kiriti Ayona Allison Vaafusuanga. <laughs> Madeline Grace Vaasen. Marcus Kane Tom Vangana. <laughs> Elizabeth Vaisola. Joanna Sherry Vaisola. <laughs> Kate Harper Valeli. <laughs> Luke Raymond Van Velsen. <laughs> Chantal Alice Van Wheely. Danielle Rushenda Fonsal. <laughs> Lynn Tulua Vatau. <laughs> Kelsey Ann Waite. <laughs> Isabel Alice Walker. Stephanie Grace Wallace. <laughs> Jingying Wang. <laughs> Zihi Wang. <laughs> Rosalind Emma Watkins. Sophie Moy Sim Weber. <laughs> Yuri Weindorp. <laughs> Senior Scholar in Arts, Susanna Grace Whaley. <laughs> Charles Maxwell Whitfield. Emily Rose Whitston Lee. <laughs> Manaya Rainey Wickham. <laughs> Lee
UQ Sherard Wilkins. Andrew Richard Wilkinson. Jessica Noreen Williams. Sam Grosvenor Williams. Chance Kauri Wayne Wilson. Gabriella Marie Wilson. Mary Beth Francis Wilson. Temuera Jack Wilson. Serena Grace Maria Wolfkamp. Crystal Caramelli Wangchu. Ariana Chelsea Wood. Jonathan Gary Wood. Helen Marie Wyeth. Shuting Sha. Ran Ye. Han Ling Yen. Jung Ga Young. Reuben Timothy Yates. Mo Yu. E Wan. Si Yen Tong. Ji Rao Jong. Wen Jia Jong. Yu Er Chao. Yu Chi Chao. Wei Yi Ju. Postgraduate Diploma in Arts with Distinction. Sarah Elizabeth Herbert in Psychology. Aniva Veronica Miki in Media, Film, and Television. Next one. Postgraduate Diploma in Arts with Merit. Akshay Bijawath in Screen Production. <laughs> Madhumita Chakraborty in Development Studies. <laughs> Helena Jane Loy in English. <laughs> Ruby Marianne Joanna Satele in Museums and Cultural Heritage. Johar A. Nasib Singh Sokhi in Politics and International Relations. <laughs> Yanan Jong in Screen Production. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Arts. Rebecca Charlotte Binkhurst in Spanish. Jutsung Tsai in Media, Film, and Television. <laughs> Jing Chun in Media, Film, and Television. <laughs> Ye 
Liam Ramsey to Ive Kokaua in geography. <laughs> John Hyun Kwan in history. <laughs> Shang Li in politics and international relations. Christina Marie Walsey in psychology. <laughs> Yibing Shu in media, film, and television. <laughs> Yufei Ye in media, film, and television. <laughs> Postgraduate diploma in language teaching with merit. Kelly Jane Ohms. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Language Teaching, M Marina Sergenevna Kurganova. <laughs> Zhao Chi Li. <laughs> Yaping Lu. Sherry Norma Unlam. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Creative Writing with First Class Honors, Siban Claire Tan Ang. Angelica Rizeria Maria Casmara. Vadi Catherine Lennox. <laughs> Faculty graduate scholar Ruby Lee Porter. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Creative Writing with Second Class Honors, First Division, Miranda Margaret James. <laughs> Barbara Gay Unkovich. To the degree of Master of Creative Writing with Second Class Honors, Second Division, Philippa, Philippa Jane Henderson. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Public Policy with First Class Honors, Daniel Ronald Baygent. <laughs> Caitlin Mary Louisa Meloish and a Bachelor of Arts Honors with Second Class Honors First Division in Politics and International Relations. <laughs> Tessa Maureen Myers Oxnam. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Smalley. <laughs> Julia Vermol Tarmata Walter. To the degree of Master of Public Policy with Second Class Honors, First Division, Irina Freilachmann. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Public Policy with Second Class Honors, Second Division, Young Ho Jung. <laughs> Shui Jung. To the degree of Master of Public Policy, Siobhan Letitia Lois Allen Esther Kemp. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages with First Class Honors, Charles Chung Wen King. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages with Second Class Honors, First Division, Ling Ling Zhou. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages with Second Class Honors, Second Division, Jeraporn Bunpom. <laughs> Lu 
Lu Fu. To the degree of Master of Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages, Tomoaki Inage. Dongni Leu. Mary Polosovai. Byung Hyun Son. Graciela Melo Rocha Seguro Toledo. To the degree of Master of Theology, Sosefo Sateke Ras. And in absentia, all those other persons named in the official record qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the Faculty of Arts. I now call upon the Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Education and Social Work, Dr. Wayne Smith, to present the graduands in that faculty. Pro Vice Chancellor, as Deputy Dean, I have the honour of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the Faculty of Education and Social Work. Graduate Diploma in Teaching Secondary, Shalou Shazlin Ara. <laughs> Sophie Harriet Adia. <laughs> Jalisa J. Adams. Shanae Adams. <laughs> Amatul Martin Ahmad. <laughs> Evie Joy Aitchison. <laughs> Imran Imdad Ali. <laughs> Huey Yong Bae. Catherine Louise Barker. Jordan Martin Bartlett. Priti Batia. Ashley Morgan Bloomfield. Judith Vijayendra Wikilini Botinga. Michelle Dawn Brown. <laughs> Oliver Simon Brown. <laughs> this one, Sophie. Sophie Sheridan Kane. <laughs> Lydia Alice Mary Chamley. <laughs> Ping Xu Chen. Rochelle Ashley Clemens. Thomas Stewart Cole. Heath Joseph Coldhurst. Christina Victoria Corblane. Emma Claire Cotton. Sean William Crossan. <laughs> Nicholas James Crotty. <laughs> Patricia Danielle Salasi Dakane. <laughs> Zayed Lyle Davids. <laughs> Helen Patricia Davidson. Alana Marie Ducat. Christy 
Lorraine Finlay. Laura Mary Grace Gardner. Claire Barbara Gavin. Sophie Carmen Gibbons. Brendan Robert Grant. Zia Ozu Gu. Nicole Joy Hampton. Heidi Johanna Haringer. Thomas Nelson Hodgson. Lalani Mataaina Inu. Benjamin Heath Jackson. Christopher Garfield James. Yon Min Yong. Nyla Saafong Joaquin. <laughs> Jay Yong Jung. <laughs> Thomas William Kensington. <laughs> Deepa Keshwara. <laughs> Kimberly Krista King. Sophie Gadrin Knight. <laughs> Casablanca Kwak Hyong. <laughs> Chelsea Ruby Lai. <laughs> Yi Wee Lee. Shalom Sala Ivalu Sitoga La Lelo Lua. <laughs> Oliver James Libulu. Irene Rose Lewis. Shuping Liang. Hannah Francis Lightfoot. <laughs> Yo Lu. Thank you, Pro Chancellor, for awarding the diplomas and conferring the degrees in the first half of this ceremony. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. Noah Rudd on oboe will now perform Five Fantasia in C major by Georges Philip Telemann.
Noah, thank you for that wonderful performance. By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Scott St John, Chancellor, award the diplomas and confer the degrees stated upon those who within the Faculty of Education and Social Work have satisfied the requirements of this university. Graduate Diploma in Teaching Secondary. Leandro Mari Herrera Magapante. Isiane Kafa Atu Masima. Catherine Iris Mathis. Clara Maria Matheson. Jennifer Jane Maxwell. Joshua Edward Mackenzie Brown. Gregory Allen McLaren. Gavin Brian Mead. Sharman Daniela Mendoza Matos. Joanne Patricia Minhare Sepalane. Alice Helen Mitchell. Anthony William Mitchell. Yobu Patrick Mose. Amara Pathika Liamina Nurse. Lisa Rachel Nelson. Katie Anna O'Grady Leong. Maoth Ta'al Oma Awaida. Barry Nicole Penman. Emma's not here. Sarah. Sarah Elizabeth Piu. Shara Babi Fakanimo Pomas Pomani. Pasimani. Cindy Irene Postles. Heather Patrice. Pangley. Elise Monique Prince. Chanel Jaya Reedy. Ren Shi Chi. James Patrick Reynolds. Heather Louise Roberts. Yeah, awesome. Niall Christopher Roger. Mary Rosalie Aldith Rogers. Anna Hope Rogerson. Elizabeth Rose Sayer. Melissa Ann Seymour. Maya Catherine Silverman. Suviska Singh. Nicholas William Smith. Rhiannon Marie Smith. 
Jordan Rachel Stanley. Robert Peter Stretch. Regina Tortogi. Jared Sheldon Titoki Tipaki. Matthew Charles Thomas. Cameron Lawson Thompson. Jessica Ann Thwaites. Lalani Elizabeth Tomasi. Prisanna Araha Tonga. Kaylee Ann Tuhill. <laughs> Lakiti Longo Moi Loto Tutai. <laughs> Matthew Sean Towers. <laughs> Jamalet Suwalulu Tiwalu Tufonga. Dennis Brown Tutaka. Tessa Elizabeth Twigley. Sasulu Maona Liatala Va'i Taufanga Margaret Va'a Elu. Ah. <laughs> Catherine Walker. Hong Wang. Daniel William Ward. Matthew Richard Waters. Kareen Angeli Watson. Monique Anna Maria Weyamars. Courtney Joan Wentz. Benjamin Peter Wheeler. Deidre Allen Williams. Leslie Jane Williamson. Hannah Nolene Carlton Wood. Imogen Jane Ella Woodward. Nora, Nora Laura Nigwigati Zelna. <laughs> Graduate Diploma in Teaching English in Schools to Speakers of Other Languages. Teresa Bissett. A Castino Le Leo Fafita. <coughs> Ongo Ivaha Fanga Le. <coughs> Geraldine Maria Healy. Angela Kuma. Arena Devi Kumar. Desma Gail Lai. Sarah Louis. Lara. Lara Elizabeth O'Malley. Falavinia Ripata. <laughs> L 
Luisia o Fakia Latea, la Lipia Tohi. Erolini tu Ua. Hivaha tu Akwe. Rosalind Fua I Ilagi tu Atama. Graduate Diploma Teaching Secondary, Ya Chun Sai. Graduate Diploma Teaching Secondary, Ya Chun Sai. So I'm going here. Yep. To the degree of teaching, to the degree of Bachelor of Education, teaching English to speakers of other languages. Viani Sophie Vincent Gilson. Nor Amira Fazana Wan Mod Zan. Wan Nor Faha Fara Wan Shamsadan. Chancellor, I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Education and Social Work, Professor Graham Aitken, to present further graduates in, in that faculty. To the degree of Bachelor of Human Services, Mariana Toaluupu Asue. <laughs> Natasha Lailane Ale. <laughs> Nicholas Christopher Barnes. <laughs> Donna Marie Cavill. Amy Elizabeth Rose Dorr. <laughs> Nanis Tukukanga Imwana Imwala Ahlele. <laughs> Siosi Lepasi Kai Fakaake Ake Kihe Elfina. Emma Margaret Gray. Erica Jean Lotoy Jefferson. Stephanie He Ni Kim. Chulan Ileana Ma. Joshua Kane McNally. <laughs> Gloria Utumoi Misa. <laughs> Lily Francesca Roth Palmer. <laughs> Delwan Aroha Ngahuya Savage. Hassan Farid Shire. <laughs> Lawata Esau Teapapa. <laughs> Natalie Walker. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Physical Education, Senior Scholar in Education, Daniel Laszlo Abricosa. <laughs> Jack Alexander Beasley. 
Caitlin Mary Byrne. Carl Chong. Kirsten Fiona Donovan. George Varia Emosi. Madeline Rose Garbett Ovens. Christine Hargraves. Lepetimalo Jordan Loese. Jade Paylan Lim. Taviti Taniella Tutu Nofahu. Kalisha Melisifa Ole Pakatam. Sadel Mere Tomutunga Peters. Jonathan Daniel Stewart Quinn. <laughs> Jessica Wendy Newton Reed. <laughs> Jamie Louise Salter. <laughs> Siona Zion Gabriel Tesese. Jamie John Williamson. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Counseling Theory with Distinction, Yvette Heidi Britton. <laughs> Miriam Gabrielle Taylor. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Counseling Theory with Merit, Vivian. Ching Yi Fan. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Educational Leadership with Distinction, Sophie Margaret Shiska. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Educational Leadership with Merit, Helen Maria Smith. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Educational Leadership. Nikal Chandra. <laughs> Joseph D'Ambrosio. <laughs> Melba Muriel Parkinga. <laughs> Sohe Song. Kalma Christina Alberg. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Counseling with First Class Honours, <coughs> Barbara Ruth Mackay. <laughs> Roberto Daniel McClay. Amy Marie Preble and a postgraduate diploma in counselling theory with distinction. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Educational Leadership with First Class Honours, Sarah Maud Laycock. <laughs> Rosina Nelly Prasad.
Bernadette Maria Stockman. Raywan Marie Towers. <laughs> Emmeline Tuimana Unga. <laughs> Paliato Ualese. <laughs> Geraldine Antoinette Victor. To the degree of Master of Educational Leadership with Second Class Honours, First Division, Emma J. McEwen. <laughs> Hayley Ann Mudford. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Professional Studies with First Class Honours, Martha Fahamata Asata in Education. Benjamin Michael Claxton in Education. <laughs> Maureen Patricia Drum in Education. <laughs> Catherine Francis Gormley in Education. <laughs> Tracy Mary Harris in Education. <laughs> Sarah Isabel Holt in Education. Charles Chu Liu in education. <laughs> Jacinta Lima Loto in education. <laughs> Edoya Julia Mann in education. <laughs> Isha Ati Narayan in education. <laughs> Aaron James Scorringe in education. Rochelle Joy Spicer in Education. <laughs> Rafakarite Donna Tapaya in Education. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Professional Studies with Second Class Honours First Division, Paula Nonet Baird in Education. Hemina Cecilia Borges Carrillo in Education. <laughs> Julie Erica Brown in Education. <laughs> Shannon Francois Colum in Education. <laughs> Deborah Tanya Davies in Education. Fermita Hussein in education. <laughs> Anjay Lakhan in education. <laughs> Rishmi Salini Ratnam Lakhan in education. <laughs> Stephen Rushton McDonald in education. Bernadine Joy Russell in Education. <laughs> Tarera Punahu Williams in Education. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Professional Studies with Second Class Honours Second Division, Adeline Mui Leon Beer in Education. Melavea to Aroha Hui Hui in education. Christopher Peter Matthews in education. Siren Sanjani Prasad Nand in education. To the degree of Master of Teaching Primary with Second Class Honours First Division, Mark Daniel Rains. <laughs> Anne Margaret Verhul. <laughs> Ch 
to the degree of Master of Teaching Primary, Nysen Kang. I now call upon the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor John Morrow, to present the doctoral graduands. <coughs> Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting to you the doctoral graduands. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Charmaine Ann Barber in Education. Charmaine looked at what pastoral care is in the New Zealand secondary school context. Commonalities and not notable differences, both inter and intra-ethnically within Maori and Pacifica staff and student populations, were explored in relation to the development of increased cultural responsiveness between all school staff, students, families and their communities. University Doctoral Scholar James Inglis Arnett Burford in Education. James examined what it feels like to write a PhD in the contemporary university amid increasing reports of doctoral stress and ill-being. He, he utilized queer concepts to argue that feeling bad may be read not only as a consequence of political change to universities, but that bad feelings might offer their own tools and logics for transformation. James. University Doctoral Scholar David Taufui Makatao Fayave in Education. In an in-depth narrative study, David investigated the educational understandings of three generations of Tongan men and boys in order to illustrate the cultural capital brought by Tongan boys to school. His work on the methods of Tatalanoa Tatala as the intergenerational knowledge transfer of Tongan cultural resources will be widely used by researchers, teachers, and principals to enhance the schooling experiences of Tongan boys. David. <laughs> Esther Mary Fitzpatrick in Education. Esther, using critical autoethnography, interrogated her stories and those of her colonial ancestors to disrupt assumptions of homogeneous Pakeha identity. She designed an arts-based methodology to engage with counter-stories, a process of decolonization to enhance diverse understandings of Pakeha identity. She provides productive pedagogy to explore Pakeha identity as dynamic and entangled, haunted by a history of colonization. Caroline Yvonne Haslam in Education. Caroline investigated the effectiveness of a teaching strategy called pre-training to see if it made it easier for students in secondary school science classes to learn difficult information. Through the use of an innovative methodology, Caroline demonstrated that the um, interventions made a major difference. Caroline. University Doctoral Scholar, Yedra Ishel Martinez Pantaha in Politics and International Relations. Yedra studied how the American government, multinational corporations, and non-governmental organizations interacted with Mexican officials and other stakeholders to influ influence Mexico to change its policy to allow cultivation and co commercialization of genetically modified foods, despite a risk of diminishing Mexico's diversity. The diplomatic instruments analyzed included exchange programs, exhibitions, scientific training, research center activities, and science and journalism awards. 
Thank you, Aaron. Terry Puono in Theology. Coconut water in a Coca-Cola bottle symbolizes as a human reality um, that is the search for identity of a New Zealand-born Samoan in the Congregational Christian Church of Samoa, or CCCS. By utilizing the research method and methodology, T. Levar Intercultural Hermeneutics, Terry's thesis investigates different responses of New Zealand-born generations to the dilemma of being suppressed between the VAR or spaces within the CCCS. Terry. Jian Yan Chin in Politics and International Relations. Jian Lin Chin's thesis explored whether the climate change regimes function as it has been designed and through what mechanisms it influences states' behavior. Her thesis investigated China's behavioral changes in global climate change mitigation by applying mechanical theory. Her study discovered that the regime of climate change has exerted different impacts on China's central, provincial, and municipal, municipal governments. <laughs> University doctoral scholar Luzia Magdalena Sauer in Applied Linguistics. Luzia's thesis reports case studies of five fem three female German high school exchange students in New Zealand. It analyzed the students' second language development, their language learning motivation, the social context in which they operated, and the opportunities that these afforded for language learning. Her thesis provides insights into how and why learners perform differently in seemingly identical contexts of learning. University doctoral scholar Jeffrey George Thompson in Latin. By creating a searchable database to analyze quotations and citations in the works of the Roman philosopher Seneca, Jeff provided an invaluable tool for all scholars of Seneca and ancient Stoicism for mapping the contemporary Roman intellectual environment. Jeff demonstrates patterns in Seneca's quotations that are invisible to non-digital approaches illustrating how these changes related to Seneca's fluctuating political fortunes. Jeff. <laughs> Tarisi van Didilo. This thesis centers on repatriation as a means of restoring cultural identity to indigenous peoples. It examines how cultural artifacts were taken out of their source communities to international museums and private collectors and um, private collectors, and proposes how the reverse cycle can be undertaken in mutual agreements between all the parties concerned. The political relationship between Fiji and Britain can be studied through artifacts that were exchanged in the 1800s. Teresi. Arthur John Wolfe in Theology. Arthur's thesis offers a reappraisal of Earth as presented in Genesis 1 through the use of a Samo Samoan ability-based approach. He examined the Genesis 1 narrative to see if the given portrait of Earth upholds the divine claim that Earth was created good or even very good. Arthur. And in absentia, all those other persons named in the official record qualified for the conferment of a doctoral degree in the Faculty of Arts and the Faculty of Education and Social Work.
Teaching Excellence Awards. The university places considerable significance on excellence in teaching. It recognises this by making awards each year to teachers who have demonstrated excellence in aspects of teaching. These awards are contestable across the university and signify a truly superior performance. An award for early career excellence in teaching has been made to Dr. Kelsey Dean in the School of Counselling, Human Services and Social Work within the Faculty of Education and Social Work. I call upon a student in that faculty, Cornelia Vacuni, to read the citation for Dr. Dean. I have had the privilege of having Dr. Kelsey Dean as my as my course director and lecturer while I was studying towards a Bachelor of Human Services. I started as an insecure student with low confidence in my academic, academic ability as I left high school without any qualifications and had applied through the special admissions process. However, I finished my degree as a confident A average student, passionate about evaluating and designing effective positive youth development programs. I was prepared. <laughs> Dr. Kelsey Dean has played a significant role in this journey with her approach to teaching and the environment she created in a classroom. Kelsey would encourage an interactive approach to learning to, focus, to force us to link theory to our work experience and vice versa. With the years of experience working with young people, this method of learning adds more value and a greater sense of purpose in pursuing my degree. Kelsey cared about our learning. She would pause mid-sentence to check if she was talking too fast and put us in line when we were not giving our best. I can recall a time when she was pacing in the front of the class expressing her disappointment in the low standard of academic writing from one of our assignments she had finished marking. She was more concerned about the quality of writing as future practitioners. She genuinely cared, she genuinely cared about our professional development. We were reminded to look at the bigger picture and the impact that we could have in our, in our communities. Kelsey has inspired us to strive for excellence and to be purposeful in our approach to study. This is evident in her life with the many accolades she possesses and the many community development projects that she is a part of. It has been an honour to be her undergraduate student and now her postgrad student, Fafatai Tele Lava Kelsey. Thank you both very much. An award for leadership and teaching has been made to Dr. Nairi Hoban in the School of Learning, Development and Professional Practice within the Faculty of Education and Social Work. I call upon a student of that faculty, Kelly Bigwood, to read the citation for Dr. Hoban.
Dr Nairi Hoban is a teacher, a teacher of teachers, a researcher, a leader and a learner. She is warm, humble and one of the most tirelessly committed educators I have ever met. Every aspect of Nairi's leadership is about improving outcomes for students in schools with a particular commitment to improving educational disparity. Both her leadership and teaching are founded on building relational trust and an openness to learning with the wide variety of stakeholders involved in teacher education. I recall a school principal thanking Nairi for her leadership. The principal commented that if she wanted to introduce a faculty innovation at school, all she had to do was tell her staff that Nairi Hoban agreed with it and she had instant buy-in. <laughs> Nairi has a truly extraordinary commitment to education. She values the role of professional supervision, even though it comes at a cost to those working in a research environment, especially given her commitment to the far north. Supervision provides opportunities and conversations that really shift practice. She has integrity in what she advises, experience and solid research behind her knowledge, and is able to differentiate between the needs of every student. As a teacher, Nairi is known to be a knowledgeable expert, a teacher who models exemplary practice in teaching, who establishes professional relationships of care that continue well beyond the timeframes of a course. Her academic rigour is both challenging and confidence building. As one of Nairi's former, former students, I know this to be true. And now, working in school leadership, I draw on what Nairi taught me as a lecturer and a mentor every single day. I am so thrilled and honoured to be here today to read this citation for the University of Auckland Leadership and Teaching Excellence Award being presented to Dr Nairi Hoban. We are now nearing the end of this graduation ceremony. On behalf of the university, I invite all today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. It is, also an, it is also an opportunity for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff of the university who have helped them as they achieve their qualifications. This concludes this meeting of council and convocation of the University for Conferment of Degrees and the Award of Diplomas. I now invite you to stand and sing the first verse of God Defend New Zealand in Māori and then in English. The words are printed on the reverse of your programme. <laughs> 